What's up everybody? Berserker Bear coming to you with another edition of Bushwhack and Tartaria. What we're going to do is get right into it. I got a good one for you today. We got some boots on the ground and we have, we are at uh, St. Louis Roman Catholic Church here in Buffalo. There you go, information for your reference. I put out a community notification earlier today about it. And we have some old school family reference here for you. And we're going to go over some pictures that deal with the architecture specific to the architecture at this building. Okay, it is called the St. Louis Roman Catholic Church. It is the first Roman Catholic Church alleged to have been built in Buffalo. Okay, and we're going to get, again, boots on the ground. I got this uh, right up close for you. And we're going to go through the architecture that it says to be, uh, let's check it out right now. St. Louis Roman Catholic Church is located at 35 Edward Street, Buffalo, New York. The church holds the title Mother Church of Roman Catholic Diocese in Buffalo. The church, or excuse me, the Gothic style church is located on the site of the first Roman Catholic Church ever built in Buffalo. Very interesting, beautiful church, Gothic style. And uh, real quick, to round out we're, what we're going to do today, this is going to be a, also a solicitation of help from my uh, subscribers to do some further research on this, because again, this is just a cursory search that I do and tutorial to help you do the same thing. So let me give you a little bit of a preview of what we're going to see here. Table of contents. There you go. Gothic art. Page 74. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says page 74. And we will get right into that also. It shows all these old buildings and it shows exactly the name of them. So let's get into it. Here we are. St. Louis Roman Catholic Church. Boots on the ground. Let's do it. budget so here we go I'm right there and I'll narrate as I walk what I do is this is gonna be a pretty long video right here and why not because I thought that would have been a pretty pretty cool graphic to do that of course there's a budget sign right in front of the Google Street View but I thought that was an alright transition so here we go yeah beautiful architecture Gothic style, as we um, noted from Info Galactic. Okay, and um, what I do is I walk around the entire thing, and then I'll go over, we'll go through pictures, and we'll just do a back and forth. For you. Yeah, look at the. So uh, I forget who had mentioned. Maybe it was uh, Mr. Brees, one of the commenters. Very good um, help in the re uh, research, Mr. Brees. Thank you very much, sir. I believe you did recommend this. And again, this is where the interactive nature comes in. I had ambition to do this last video I mentioned. I got turned around and, and, and landed upon the tower, Kensington Water Tower. Did that off the cuff. And then Mr. Brees had put a comment, I believe, in MeWe. Look at that. Here we go now. Right across the street as I'm narrating away. But yeah, Mr. Brees recommended that I do this next. And I'm um, obliging. 
and very um, welcome to do so. So yeah, look at the build out right across the street at this building. You could check it out yourself as to the name of it, but look at the ornate. Different, different uh, style, blocky. I like how it's a uh, like chessboard. There you go. There's a guy. I think this, I believe, is the new electric tower in Buffalo. The one that they rename. I could be wrong, but it lights up at the at night. I could be wrong, but. I mean, we're on Main Street, and you can orient yourself. You know what? What is that? That's. So I would be facing this way. Yep, I believe it is the electric tower. There you go. Look at that. So again, renaming of things. The electric tower used to be we used to, I, I established in a previous video. Please go and check that out. That the electric tower was actually the electric tower in the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, and I did that before. So where were we? That's that, right? There you go. Let's do this. I like doing this. Try to get that same view. See if I have time to, to do this. I got a lot of pictures to go through. Look at that. There goes another. Okay, there goes another church with Antiquitech. Anybody want to prime me up for that one? Money May. I'll do it. I'll also do, I'll also do this one too. There you go. That's the electric tower. And where am I? I'm somewhere around here. Let's get back to the boots on the ground. I go off on tangents. I only got a half hour. I'm going to pack all this into one. But see, here we go. Look at the, the, the architecture on this. Made. So you got a raised first level entrance. All right. Entrance. Excuse me. And Mr. Bree said it was like, um, it literally does look like the tower from Batman 1 with Michael Keaton and, and Jack. Never rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> it, it definitely does. It's got facets. It's got nooks and crannies. Which is just so, look at the red brick on the other side too. I look at that. It's all over. But I like the blocky, pillowy type architecture that this gothic is and where do you see the top in the steeple oh my goodness so yeah i walk around 360 on the boots on the ground here and just to show the grandeur i guess uh the grandeur and grandiosity of the of the of the structure itself and how big it is i'm sure it's hard to translate through through video video again i'm i'm just i have a very crude setup but i hope it translates for you guys and you can obviously look it up on google earth and like you can kind of see through it a little bit, like almost like um, right daylight's coming through, like it might be in disrepair. Just beautiful though. So then this is what we would think would be catching, catching the the aether energy, when whenever this thing was operational, whenever they were able to grab. You know, I'm, I'm just going to speak in terms of they were definitely doing it. It's easier for me to explain. We have another series coming out where we're uh, going to put out definitions for you, this and that. So I can't fast, I can't fast track as I'm trying to fast, fast track through this uh, video. Right, so it looks like in disrepair a little bit and those uh, all those nodules coming off if anybody has information on those obviously it's gothic style what was the reasoning behind that 
Of course, I understand it's obvious. It's obviously more ornate, and it almost reminds me of how ornate the structures are in uh, in India and in Sri Lanka. There goes some more antiquitech for you, right? I mean, literally, aside from beauty, what, what what purpose does that serve? It's got the balls, so it's it's um the the onion domes on, on a smaller scale, but we uh, understand fractal energy what's what's true in the micro is true in the macro and and that scales okay so those domes look the same those little domes on those steeples look like the same as the domes on the same shape as the domes on oh say saint basil's cathedral in moscow over by philip Druzinin. or saint petersburg i'm sorry Either St. Petersburg or Moscow. Again, this is one take off the top of my head. I don't have any reference with me. No, no script. Point I'm trying to make is it looks like there's Antiquitech all over this thing. And this one almost looks like it's bulked up. Number one, it looks like a castle as far as the, the brick and the structure. And the arches. Okay, uh, vaulted. We got vaulted arches here which are more um, angular shaped as opposed to rounded arches, which would be Moorish, you think. And that was, that's going to come into play with this ar the architecture. There you go. Love that. That's going to come into play with the architecture book that we're going to go over right quick. Moorish architecture is, is, is mentioned along, in, along with the French Gothic architecture. So let's get through this. And how much we're just going to go back and forth. Again, I'm not making any uh, any conclusions here. Rather, just uh, pointing out anomalies, doing a cursory search as to what anybody else can do online, like yourself. We also like you to throw it up on our, our, our research website, MeWe. You could find that link at my website, uh, YouTube, Bushwhack and Tartaria with Berserker Bear. Look at that. Now, look at the rotunda in the back. Oh, Let's find out where we were. You know, it's all, I mean, obviously we know what symbol that is, but that also could be harnessing uh, uh, an application to grab the energy. Yeah, and this back rotunda is just... It, it, I can't explain how awe-inspiring it is when you're right on top of it. Always gotta gotta have a little bit of gusto, you know. Respectfully, professionally. So yeah, um, vaulted arches and these windows. I didn't notice any kind of somatic patterns on these ones. That's a that's a feature too of these. Um, Actually, you know, I wasn't really looking for it, but that round one that you see top right. Some of these old churches, cathedrals, do have somatic patterns on these rose type pictures. These, uh, maybe I should have zoomed in, actually. Because that's another feature with um, that we haven't got down yet in this um, research rabbit hole is the somatic patterns that would seem to indicate that they were using some kind of, there you go, some kind of vibrations. Maybe they do have them on there, see? I don't know, I can't make any for sure certainty, uh, certain statements here because I, I, you know what, I failed to 
I did fail to get close-up pictures of that, and I'm sorry about that. Look at that, though. So, yeah, look at the nodules. I believe I have one more video to show you. Yeah, so all the features, raised first level entrance. And then I also noticed another feature here. There you go. And those uh, first level, ground level windows. Now keep in mind, this is Buffalo. And we have not just snow. I forgot to mention this last time. We have... Lake effect snow. But prior to Lake Erie freezing in the winter, the fronts come over Lake Erie, and if it's not frozen over, they accumulate a lot of moisture. A lot of moisture. And that moisture is mixed in with the snow that gets then dumped on the... on uh, Mostly southern. Look at that. Look at these little buttresses here. Just awesome. Now, mostly um, southern tier get, gets a lot of the, uh, look at this. These nodules, I think, they're just there to grab the aether. More, more, like more robust, I guess, if you will. Okay. But yeah, uh, so we get heavy lake effect snow before the lake freezes over because it's able to grab moisture still from the lake. And um, it's very heavy and it's very wet. And then when it melts, there's a lot of moisture in it. So this is not the the climate to be building structures with openings on ground level. And I understand um, substructure. Look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. I understand substructure and the idea of letting light in. Some comments in my um, videos, I mentioned that, and I appreciate that, but I don't, I don't buy that, and I, don't, I don't think so. Especially when you incorporate all, all, all the characteristics, even the light prisms that are in cities. That I got an email about. Gentleman emailed me, I believe from Seattle, that showed me pictures of light prisms in. Um, here you go. In Seattle, I believe, and thank you for that email. I forgot, I forget the name, but I appreciate that. And I, my feed, my, my email is in my easily accessible in my YouTube channel. So I ask that you definitely be, stay professional, respectful, and I uh, number one offer suggestions of places to go. I'll sh I'm going to show you a place. Um, a, a website that I use as a working syllabus effectively it's called Buffalo as an architectural museum and that it certainly is and you see buildings like this on every single corner I mean I pretty much just proved that with here goes the uh, reference business name for you Oh Glory Remember that fence that I opened? Leave it how you found it. Respectfully, professionally. There you go. All right, let's get through this. I want to get to these pictures. Some more undergroundage. As you can see what we're saying, I believe, obviously this goes underneath. You got a buttress here. This thing's butt, butt 15 feet tall. Of course, we, you need a buttress there. Again, I'm not an ar architectural or um, architectural scientist or anything like that, but underground. That seems to indicate that there's underground structure there, like an iceberg. Okay. <clears throat> Another building right across the way. I wasn't even intending to go there, but look at that. Okay, look at the same. Okay, look at the same feature here. 
is the window up here. This was a window before. This was not the ground level before. Transition is very, very tough here because you have the top of a window here, but older foundation here. Um, oh, it's tough. Look at that. She's a beaut. Look at this. Looks like it was a lot bigger. There goes build out for you right there. When I say build out, more ornate build out. Red brick. Looks like an old red. This is a. Uh, I I think this is capping. I mentioned briefly in a previous video about uh, a feature. I think this is how they capped off that build out actually. And if that's the case, this is like terracotta or stuff like that. And maybe how they knocked down some of the old um, old Tartarian red brick and made it into. I'm going to do a video on these things too because there, there had to have been a whole industry. I think this is like um, when they knocked up, when they knocked off the old build out, made it made the Tartarian red brick buildings into industry. I think they used these things as a easy way to uh, cover over them when they knock off that old build out. That's my opinion. And if that's the case, then there's an industry there that can be researched. I don't know what those things are called. Look at that, it looks like an old, bigger wall. In about 10 minutes, okay, there goes a buttress right there. There goes a believable buttress. When I say believable, that's really tall. I mean, that's probably, when I was up on top of that, That was pro that's probably 50 feet up, at least, probably. So then I understand that you need a buttress. More of these features, you know, <laughs> lighting for the ba uh, lighting for the basement. I don't know. I mean, I guess there's an argument for that. I I I don't agree with it. Look at the facets in this, and, and when I say this is what I mean when I say nooks and crannies. This wasn't as uh, good of a picture that I thought it was going to be, though. And that's what it looks, that's when, uh, it definitely looks like the tower from Batman 1. Look at that. Yeah, that's where I was. I was inside of there when I took that picture. Just amazing. Amazing. There you go. Now check this out. Here we go. This will kick off the research. St. Louis, the first Catholic church in western New York. This church was built on a site on which the present church stands was opened in 1832, served as an infant. Oh my word, I didn't even read this. As an wow, honestly, I read I read below that. As an infant congregation until 1843 under the name Lamb of God. Its successor dedicated to St. Louis served the area until 1885 when it's what it was destroyed by a fire of course the present church was completed in 1889 and consecrated in 1913 wait what description history st louis lacroix donated land to the church the church was constructed do you see where constructed on the site known as lamb of god Okay, we're going to need to do some further research because i got to get into that more, th these pictures. There you go. By fire. Infant congregation. Uh, that reminds me of infant trains, guys. Orphan trains, my word. Wow. Robert Langdon, huh? Memorial dedicated. Look at that, Tartaria. I see Tartaria, the Order of Alpha, founded in 1904. Motion of the Social and Intellectual Associations amongst its members. Hmm, that sounds interesting to me. That sounds like compass and um, square-ish to me. If you know what I'm got, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get into this. This is in my... 
grandfather's collection. Boom. I use this for reference. It's my workaround for the internet. I don't need the internet to reference this stuff. Another leg up that I believe that I have and it can offer you guys. Look at this. It goes through everything. But I'm looking for gothic art because this is gothic art. So let's go look at the gothic art pictures that they have in this book that I have. It's amazing. Greek art, Roman art. I can compare all the, all the architectures that I have to these things. Here you go. Here goes flying buttresses now. A buttress is right up against it. That's it actually. So B. Tells you the description of these things. B. Gothic system section. Gurner. Oh, that's a Gurner. Germer. Okay. Uh, a vaulting scheme. See the vaults on A. Look at that. Where does it say buttresses? Because I always like the flying buttresses. Anyway, you see what I'm getting at here with these, with these pictures. What I'm going to do is look for some specific features that we see that look familiar that we went over. And nothing strikes my eye right now. And we'll figure out what these are. I'll actually post these pictures so you guys can get a better look at these. I'm flying through them right now, and I'm sorry because I got only limited time here. But I will post these on our MeWe site here. Oh, and look at this. You know what this reminds me, and I'm glad that I went through here. Please come check us out. My link, you can find the link here also. As you can see, people just post all Tartaria stuff. Now, this was my post that I put on here from my, as a notification from my website here in my community, as I normally do, throw up what I'm going to be, a uh, video I'm going to be doing, okay? I didn't put these pictures that we're going over right now on MeWe, but I will, okay? I just put up the notification here, and look, one of the uh, contributors here, Posted this picture from a place in Switzerland. And that's how the research works, everybody. And let's read his comment. Reminds me of a cathedral I came across in Bern, Switzerland. These two buildings are half the world apart, but have same architecture. It's crazy. Yep, it's certainly crazy. Unbelievably crazy. Because that's what we're saying. It probably was built by the same people. Tartarians. There we go. C. What page is this? 78. C. Sometimes I cut it off. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. So what? These look like flying buttresses to me. 78. C. Reims Cathedral. Flying Buttress. Yep. R-E-I-M-S. Reims Cathedral. It's this one right here. Clarence Ward. Love the flying buttresses. So yeah, the flying buttresses are the ones that come off and swing off. The buttress is the ones that are right up against it like I showed you guys. Oh, what's going on here? I'm confused. Like I showed you guys on the actual building itself, uh, St. Louis Cathedral, the buttresses that are for to help out with stability. Look at the little rose symbolism. Honest to goodness, when I'm going through this, I feel bushwhack and I feel like I'm Robert Langdon. Look at these cathedrals. F is... The Saint Chapel. Some of these buildings are probably no longer standing. There you go. This one looks maybe familiar a little bit. D. What's D? 
La Saint Chapel, Paris, 1240. Wow, see? Yeah, again, I'll post these on MeWe for you guys to look through at your convenience. Because I got not that much time, but what I want to show you is that pretty much I'm doing this research and I have this to, to, to reference along with this, along with this. And this is my syllabus, effectively. You know what, let's actually go there right now. This is the um, Buffalo as a historical museum .com. and you can go to St. Louis Church here and this gives you a whole bunch of uh, research information and I've been through all this stuff to try to find construction photos. Okay, that's another point that I like to get at here. I, I can't find construction photos. It says that it was constructed. Let's actually go into the Wikipedia one history, Paris. Paris established 1829. Where did, um, okay, see, even in the Wikipedia, in the information here, doesn't even say construction. There's no construction photos. I mean, please, where are they? Again, that's why I say cursory search, because I'm not getting into going to try to find them. I literally, I didn't even look this up on archive.org. Still French Gothic. A lot of French Gothic architecture. French Gothic. Look at that. D. The Chateau Carcassonne. Oh, my word. Just beautiful. A lot of French Gothic arts there. French Gothic minor arts. Look at these blocky things. That's kind of reminding me of Notre Dame. If I get chopped off here, the video's coming down to the end. Again, I am going to post these in MeWe. And I just wanted you to see the similarities between architecture here in Buffalo. Is that Notre Dame right there? No, it's York Minister facade. Looks like Notre Dame though, does it not? I'll post these on MeWe. Oh, look, at there goes a rotunda that looks similar. So what's that, D? Chapelle of Henry. Looks similar to the back of what we just went over. Look at this. E. What's this? Compton Wainate's Wing. Wow. There you go. D. Exactly similar. What's the Cologne Cathedral? That's what I'm talking about, Cologne. That is German Gothic architecture. Okay. Crutter Bear. This is going to cut out soon, this video, so I'm going to round this out. Yeah, so just so you know, architecture here in Buffalo, St. Louis Cathedral. Please check out the Buffalo as an architectural museum.com. Look up for information on how you can find. construction photos of this and I really appreciate that because I can't find them. Moorish architecture, here you go. Moorish has the rounded arches. There you go. We'll, we'll round this out with rounded arches from Moorish architecture because we think that they have a lot of influence here too. There is a lot of Moorish architecture. We've got Italian Gothic here. Italian with the towers like Colo uh, actually Bologna, Italy. And there we go. Italian Gothic, Italian Gothic, that's it. Italian German Gothic, um, Spanish Gothic they have in here, all that. Please come to MeWe, please subscribe, check us out here, look at all that. Please thumbs up, please share my video out. I'll always report back. MeWe's down here, uh, top or bottom right of the top rocker. And that was another edition of Bushwhack and Tartaria for you, picture edition, for, or uh, actually boots on the ground, excuse me. St. Louis Roman Cathedral, Catholic Church in Buffalo. Boots on the ground for you. I'll report back.